officially underway for PBS Hawaii's new home at Sand Island. Here this morning with more is Liberty Peralta, Director of Communications. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So this is great. You guys have been around for so long, but finally you have this opportunity to move to this great new location. Mm -hmm. How's everything going? Groundbreaking yesterday? Yeah, it was a momentous occasion for sure. Um, it's been a long time in the making. Yeah. How yeah. long have you been at the, the original location by the University of Hawaii? We've been there since our inception in 1965. And we, when we became a private non nonprofit uh, 15 years ago, we've been leasing from the state ever since. Wow. Yeah. So, so the groundbreaking, they were seeing the groundbreaking yesterday. Um, and that's, uh, that's quite a facility, too. I think we have some uh, renderings here of what you guys are, are looking to do. Yeah, it's, um, you know, when a lot of people think of PBS Hawaii and the PBS brand in general, they get very nostalgic. But yeah. we're actually, uh, we're, we're very forward thinking. And um, when we were in, in the early planning stages for the facility, we actually asked students in our Hikino program, you know, what kind, what kind of office do you want to work in? And a lot of them said that they wanted to work in an open collaborative space. So, so um, it'll have an open floor plan. And we're actually going to have uh, 2,000 square feet dedicated to our Hikino program. So we're going to be able to invite students and teachers in to do training sessions with us. Wow. Yeah. And you know, when you think about that kind of a floor plan, that's really uh, similar to a lot of the really big tech companies, Google, exactly. uh, Amazon, same thing that really opened to Pixar, same type mm -hmm. of open floor plan. So that makes sense. Uh, the Hikino, let's talk about that. We saw a little bit of video about mm -hmm. the Hikino program. This has just taken off. It has really been an incredible uh, thing for, for, for students. Yeah, it's great because it um, gives students an opportunity to learn what it's like making the news, but also uh, gives them a lot of valuable workforce skills and ju just hey, general life skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, our, that's my alma mater. <laughs> Shout out. School. Yeah, so you guys are going to be out, you expanded to outer islands as well. Yeah, all, um, of, all of the major islands are represented, even um, Ni'ihau and Molokai. Wow, yeah. that's fantastic. I'm, yeah. just, I'm so excited for the kids because they really are just taking to it um, leaps and bounds, and it's great you guys have been uh, the facility for that. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about, about the fundraising. You guys have done pretty, gr pretty great so far, uh, yeah. but still need a little bit more to, to make sure you guys can completely do everything you want to do. Yeah, so our goal is actually $30 million, and we're at $23.4 million right now. Uh, so we're almost there. Uh, a lot of business and businesses and foundations have chipped in, um, a lot of individuals as well. Um, so just need to reach that six and a half million more. Just to a little goal. more of a just bump. Just a little bit. Well, uh, <laughs> congratulations on your success already. Um, what, what's happened, uh, well, not, through, not only throughout the decades, but even in recent years, too, mm -hmm. it's just been phenomenal. Yeah. So congratulations you so far. Again, there's a little more everybody can do out there to help, just a little bit more of a bump to make sure they reach their goal. PBSHawaii.org, easy. PBSHawaii.org slash new home is uh, our website for the new home. Check so, it out. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Liberty, for stopping by.